Margot Kidder will forever be our favorite Lois Lane. <laughs> God, look up there. What the hell is that? Easy, miss. I've got you. you you've got me? Who's got you? <laughs> and we are so happy to have the legendary Margo Kidder here. Well, wow, it's so fun? nostalgic walking because always, I mean, first of all, I've never had the pleasure of meeting you, but always we were known as the Daily Planet building here at the WB. And this is, you just walked in through the lobby with the globe this morning. How such, weird was it? Such a treat. I haven't been here since we filmed here. Wow. And, when and we, we won't say how many years well, ago Well, I, I, I can't remember what year, but somebody watching will because what happened was we went through all sorts of stuff to get the permit uh -huh. and then came down here and it was very exciting and... Rex Reed was here. He walked yeah. through the front door, plugged all the lights in as it get, got dark, and suddenly, bam, all the lights in the city went out. And, of course, our electricians, and we're quite narcissistic in my uh, business, assumed huh? it was us. Look so they were you, running look around. Look at you right here. You're so, you can just tell you're just glowing. It is the coolest Thank you. thing. So, um, so uh, it was the, the big blackout. Yeah. It, wow. But, um, of course, we thought it was us. It wow. So I, That's amazing. I have very fond memories. Now, what about here? Me. It's so weird even looking at the clips. Our elevator bank. I mean, do you still, do you you wow. still want it's no, just all so of that. amazing and then to me. If we reconstructed your newsroom, which I just walked through uh -huh. in London, and that is the newsroom for the Daily Planet, and that office in the corner was Perry White's office, and Lois's desk, I can tell you just where it was. It so was you were, really so you were fun. the first original great reporter. You like, you know, you, there you, go. you created yeah. the niche for all of us reporters now in our newsroom. And it hasn't right? really changed very much here. <laughs> it, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. Yeah. And also, also, you're you're appearing uh, this weekend at the Big Apple Comic Book Book Art Toy Expo. I am this indeed. weekend. You're going to meet fans. So have you all? Always liked comic books, or I mean, no, even actually, more I, I was brought up by a very fierce uh, mother who insisted we read great literature, and we were not allowed to read comic books. Really? So when I How got ironic. the I got the part in Superman, I had never read the comic, and I had borrowed one from my stepson, and it had a story about uh, the Daily Planet having a bowling contest with the terrible women's libbers. Ooh. And I thought of myself as a feminist. I thought, what is this garbage? And just kind of flung <laughs> yeah. it off and took my characterization from the script, which was really wonderful. Wow. So it was is a it, great what's script. it like for you? I mean, you come back and all of these fans come up to you. I mean, do you still get a thrill well, that you, especially when you have kids from another generation that Listen, know you I too. have grandchildren who watch it. So uh, part of me goes, God, I can't believe they still recognize me, but they, can, they do. people do. Uh, and to know that you've made something that's truly a classic, yeah. that your grandson sits mesmerized in front of, and, and cool. then he's, like, My he's got his original Lois No, Lane. he hasn't made quite that connection, but he's got the cape and he's got the whole oh thing. My, oh. And uh, he's not too keen on Lois. He just likes Superman because uh -huh, he can fly. So, what do you think of all of the <laughs> Superman movies and TV shows that have followed? Are you do you watch? I them? think do you it's like wonderful. Them? I, uh, I haven't watched them. I think the young lady who plays. Uh, Lois on Smallville's terrific. Yeah, she's, she's just great. terrific. And what about you know uh, Kate Bosworth, who's going to be you know playing in the Well, new I don't Superman really movie. know who she is. I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> and she's a blonde. You know, you're getting old when you open people and you don't know who the celebs are, and you go, hmm. Mm, I've crossed some lines. Are you here. planning to see it though, or are you oh, a little yeah. nervous about seeing no, what they've done? No, no, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Wow. Wouldn't miss it for the world. I think it's a wonderful thing to be doing. We made that a long time ago. You know, we yeah, made that yeah. or, over a quarter and, of a I mean, century. And also, do you? I know you were. You know, you kept in touch with Chris Reeve. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's got to be tough too. Heartbreaking, for you. heartbreaking. Um, but uh, he and Dana were such extraordinary yeah. people and left a huge and magnificent mm -hmm. le legacy and that's what to remember. Well thank you so much Margo. It's such a pleasure to Delighted meet you. And come to be hang here. out here anytime. Yeah.